Hey there, Jeff Dinagan here, and today we're diving deep into the enchanting world of cherry blossoms, or Sakura. And I'll give you 5 tips for your Sakura adventure. Sakura's fleeting bloom lasting only a short period each spring now symbolizes the transient nature of life reflecting the Japanese aesthetic principle of mono no aware or the pathos of things. Although there are countries that have cherry blossoms as ornamental trees, Japan's long history of cherishing cherry blossoms has elevated sakura to a symbol of national identity, attracting visitors from around the world who seek to witness in its beauty firsthand. Let's crack the code of the sakura calendar and discover when and where to catch these fleeting blooms. Now, the very first tip would be forecasts. The JMC recently released its sixth update for the 2024 Sakura forecast. Now, links will be down below. Identify the dates that you'll be in specific places to possibly see Sakura. Uh, let's say you are using the Golden Route, um, Tokyo, Kyoto, and Osaka. Now, hence, Tokyo and Kyoto will have start flowering on March 22 or 22nd and Osaka will be March 24th. But please don't use these dates. Full bloom will be after a week. I would suggest 5 to 10 days after the forecast is uh, the sweet spot. And weather is a factor here. I remember when it rained here, uh, the full bloom was just 2 days because rain and wind can just bring the full bloom to Sakura on the ground. With the fine weather during spring, Sakura can remain in full bloom for about 7 to 10 days. But um, aside from the website, you can have this app called Sakura Navi, both available on iOS and Android devices. Though it is paid, it also has forecasts that can be in your pocket. They have this uh, proximity uh, notification for cherry blossom spot and that offers notifications when you are near cherry blossom trees or areas. While they also have this stamp card which allows you to keep track of locations you've previously uh, visited. This is my story. In my first year in Japan, I didn't know that there are actually more than one type of sakura. Uh, but by being a local here, I already learned that they have different types of cherry blossoms. Now this brings me to the second tip. Know the types of sakura. Why? Uh, because if the first tip or forecast fail, then find the type of sakura that blooms in that week in your location. And note that forecasts only predict so many Yoshino trees or Yoshino trees that comprise 80% of the cherry blossoms in Japan. While Yoshino cherry blossom steals the spotlight, Japan boasts a kaleidoscope of cherry blossom varieties, from the early bloomers like Kawazu Sakura to the elegant Shidari Sakura. We'll briefly explore the diverse world of sakura. Some Yoshino blooming late March to early April, Yamazakura blooming late March to April too. We have the Weeping Cherry, it's blooming uh, mid to late April. We also have Yoshino collaboration with Shidari Zakura or called the Kanzan Cherry mid to late April, Yai Zakura late to April to early May and Sato Zakura blooming uh, mid to late April. Now what if you really want to see sakura and there is no more full bloom sakura in your area? Now this is the third tip. Move up and go up. Now what I mean by that is that there are two ways. First is go to a higher altitude like a mountain at that area and second move to the north. So since sakura blooming starts in the warmer regions and the late in cooler regions, it would be better if you are already in that location and if you're like oh it's already late then you go up these are my recommendations for each location but expect big crowds here this is the fourth tip please visit these during weekdays as weekends will be joined by domestic tourism japanese and foreigners including myself now for tokyo shinjuku gyoi national garden Ueno park and chidori gafuchi for Kyoto, we have Maruyama Park and Tetsugaku no Michi in Arashiyama. For Osaka, we have Osaka Castle Park, Kema Sakura no Miya Park, Expo 1970 Commemorative Park. Before I say this last tip, uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more travel insights and adventures in Japan.
Now finally, embrace flexibility. They remain flexible with your travel plans to maximize your chances of witnessing cherry blossoms in full bloom. Consider adjusting your itinerary based on real-time bloom reports, um, local recommendations, and spontaneous discoveries of lesser known cherry blossom spots so of course if you it's your first time you'd go to the golden road but if you, it's your second time try exploring other places and there you have it your ultimate guide to experiencing sakura season in japan i hope you found these tips helpful as you plan your own cherry blossom adventure now click this other youtube video that might help you in your japan travel sayonara goodbye